so today we are going to uh, look at how to do land cover classification. The purpose of satellite image them say will not give you much information. You sometimes you have to classify it into land cover for you to have a quantitative data for other application like urban land cover change, uh, mapping land cover, land use, and the rest of them. So you are all welcome to today's tutorial. We are going to be using ArcQGIS to learn how to do land cover classification. Um, basically, QGIS is an open source software. It is free, so you don't need a license. And it is quite uh, interesting because there are a lot of plugins. But one thing that QGIS does is that sometimes you have to know the plugin that you need to use. Then you go to plugin and then uh, import it. I have. If you are using for the first time, what you will do, you will go to plugin, you will click on manage and install plugin. There are quite a lot of them. Like for this practice, what we need is semi automated uh, classification plugin. So if you just, one thing with QGIS is that if you start typing something, it will bring it out for you. So you don't have to type the whole sentence. So if I put semi, you can see it now. I've already installed it. You can see this checked. And if you see this sign here, like for this, this one, it means it has been installed. But if it has not been installed, all what you need to click to do is to click it and then install it. So it is telling me to reinstall, but I'm not doing that because I already have it uh, installed. So I'll just close it. So there are other plugins that you need, depending on what you want to do. So I'll just close it. So um, already I have imported the plugin and you can see it here uh, having this plus sign but before you start any analysis with uh, um, semi-automated classification you go to view you go to view you go to panel you go down you make sure that this scp doc is enabled you check it you see scp doc will come out by your right hand side by your left hand side anyway, or sometimes it could be moved to the right hand side, so it can be moved to anywhere that you want it to be, and you can also adjust it. Then second, there are three things, which is SP, um, SCP doc. The second one, you go to toolbar, you make sure that the, the uh, SCP working toolbar and SCP editors are checked too. If I close it now, you can see it has gone here. So you make sure that they are also uh, checked. If you, if you look up, you will see it appearing. You can see it now. So this is the uh, SCP you know, working uh, tool. Then the other one is the uh, SCP editor. If I click, if I uncheck it too, you could see that something disappeared from the view. So let me go back you can see that it has come back. So we need them for class, for class. So the first thing you'll do is to launch the uh, automated as um, semi-automated uh, classification. You can see a plus sign here. You click it. Let's give it some time. It's a launch and open the window. Why is it not opening? Um, coming just a minute. Why is it not opening? Interesting. Just a minute, please. It's installed, yes. So why is it not launching? Okay, let me just be sure. Oh, I have unchecked it. Sorry, I go to view panel. Okay, it's like I unchecked it the other time, so I have to.
Why is this one not launching? Oh, sorry, it has launched, but it was at the background, so I had to go and bring it out. So this is the uh, it is the window for semi-automatic classification plugin. You can do a lot of things with this uh, window, like land cover class, uh, land uh, cover chain detection. A lot of things you can give it a try. You can even download satellite images directly from here, Sentinel and Landsat and the rest. You can do pre-processing of Landsat image, Sentinel, MODIS, Vector to Raster. You can even clip, like last week we did uh, clipping. You can actually bring in the band and clip your study area from this place, from this particular window. So you can do band pre-processing, uh, principal component analysis, clustering, spec spectral distance, and you can do post-processing so, such as land cover change. Like if you have two dead images, maybe 10 years, you can actually do change detection to see where changes have occurred in the past years. You can also do band calculation and the rest of them. So the first thing you do uh, with this is to bring in your satellite images. It depends if you want to bring in multi uh, image list or you want to bring in uh, a single band. So depending on what you want to do, as I said, you can bring in the band themselves and then layer stack it. But already I have layer stack my image and I have also clipped it to the uh, desired study area that I need. So what I'll do is to refresh. Uh, if I refresh, you, you can see now it has brought in the uh, image that is in the view now. And uh, another thing you can do is that you can go direct to your folder and import the uh, image. So it's the same thing, either the band or the uh, layer stack image. So just bring in this clipped one into this. You see it has brought in the bands into this uh, window here down. So from here, you can, you see it has sensed that it is Landsat 8. I am working on Landsat 8 image and the band I chose is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 because band 1 is not useful for this one. So you can do a lot of analysis. You, you, you can see uh, different uh, uh, center wavelength for each band. You can see them spread. So you can do a lot of things with them. Then if you want to do, you can go to setting. If you go to setting, you can see the file. And it is also advisable from those that develop the software that this RAM should be set, should be half of the RAM of your system. If your system is 8 gig RAM, you should set it to 4096. If this 2 gig RAM, it, it, should, it should be set to 1000. So because my computer is 8 gig RAM, I set it to 4000. Uh, uh, 69. So with this, I have brought in the image into the uh, into the uh, semi-automatic uh, classification plugin. So let me just let me just close that. So here you can do a lot of things, which is the toolbar. You can set your band. One a good thing with this one is that you can easily set your band. Like what I have now is true color. True color is. Uh, Theory, no, 4, theory 2, which is Turu color. Turu color give you red, green, and blue. So the way things are. So if you look at this uh, image, you can see it's, it's a 30 meter pixel resolution. This is land. This is uh, Abuja uh, first one. You can see the, the building. This place is rock. This place is water body. And this green. Uh, vegetation but like we did last week with the bank combination depending on the land cover type that you want if you want to see vegetation very well you have to uh, do what we call false color using near infrared so in this case if i want to do uh, the near infrared it will be five four three five four, three. You can see it has changed. You can see the color has changed. So if I change it also to other one, let me say, you can see, okay, yeah, it's a four, three, two. 
the infrared, you can see that the vegetation is showing well now. Uh, you can see that the rock now is showing that there are vegetation on it. But when I was using the true color, which is uh, 3 to 1, sorry, I said 5, 4, 3, it's supposed to be 4, 4, 3, 2. That is the near infrared that will show you more vegetation. So sometimes it's good to do a lot of color composite to see how each will discriminate a particular land cover type that is dominant in your study area. So it's quite important. You see even the 543 show vegetation to clear. You can see vegetation is being shown as green. The study, uh, the built up is shown as uh, bright and some places here. Okay, this is water lake. This is also a lake, water body. This is also water body. This is Abuja airport. So you can see this place should be bare soil, but let me just add up the Google Earth image so that we can uh, understand some of the land covers better. So you can use the Google Earth image as your background map so that uh, you will know if the land cover you are seeing at a particular place is the true representation. Let me rearrange this by bringing the Google just, uh, I'll just left click and drag it down to bring, uh, bring it below the satellite image so I can switch it on and off and zoom if i'm not clear of what the land cover type is i'll just zoom it there okay you can see this is uh if i switch it off this is water here yeah. you can see some of these places are grasses grasses yeah and this place is uh, more like a bar so but if you're using the google art image one of the danger is that it depends on the satellite image like if you're using 1980 landsat image and you are using Google Art of 2019, you know, it may not, depending on, on how rapid the land cover in such location is changing, like Abuja, it will give you a really um, uh, uh, a false information because Abuja is growing fast. Unless if you will check the land cover that are far away from development that have not likely changed for some time, that is fine. So let me use four theory to show what our body as green, so you can, you know, as blue. I mean, so you can see this is lake. If I switch it onto you, see this is water body. You can see these places are rock, but they have also uh, grasses on top of them. So one of the problem with land cover classification is the problem with mixed pixel. Like now, if we are to classify, it is, it, there is that possibility that some of the uh, bare soil will show as built up because they reflect similarly in electromagnetic spectrum. Like this is uh, bar soil. It's a soil there. There is not built, but if you look at it, it is also bright color. So we have problem, or uh, one of the problem that always come up with land cover classification is the issue of mixed pixel. Uh, land cover classification is grouping of pixels into you no know, uh, spectral reflectance into land cover classes, that is just that. So if uh, bare soil is reflecting, the same will build up. When you do classification, it will show as build up. And there are sometimes so vegetation could show as water body or marshy area, depending on the water content of the veg vegetation. So you have, you have to understand those things. So it is a problem in land cover classification. So now we'll develop our classification scheme. Classification scheme simply means you look at your image, you determine the classes that you have. Like for this one now, basically we are going to have built up. We have built up areas. We are going to have water body. We are going to have vegetation. Even the vegetation, you could break it down into uh, trees or, you know, a close canopy, grassland, because you can easily identify them from the settlement. If you look at this place, you can see that this vegetation is more, uh, is more dense because of you can see it is red so you can see the intensity you can see some places are brighter it means the vegetation may not be as tense as the one that is dark red so if we zoom from this one yeah you, you can see that here is very dense and if we bring our image you can see that yes here is dark red while here is lighter and this place too we can see that the vegetation here they are not as as what they are not as close as 
the one here. So here they are sparse. They are more like grassland. So they are not close canopy. So if you look at it, you will see that they are lighter in color. So when you see red but lighter, it means they are just grassland, not a close uh, canopy vegetation. So if I'm to develop a classification scheme, I'm going to have built up. I'll just take vegetation as vegetation. We will have rocks, isn't it? Then we'll have water body. Then we are going to have also bare soil. Bare soil. So that is soil that there is no grass. Let me see what is here, this bright color. Sometimes sand, like sand close to the river, also get confused with built up. Okay. You can see this is not a built up. It's a place that has been graded, but it's reflecting very brightly, just like the built up. So these are the problems you will always find when you are um, using or doing land cover uh, classification. So now, before you, um, I have switched, I've taken this one off. Okay, so for now, we are done with this one. So we have put our ban, we have looked at them, we have bring in our, our uh, images to help us to do band chain let us also try some band combination and see let's say seven six five let's just play around to see how the image will change do we have okay it's like we don't have band seven let me do six uh five four you can see how the image changes so you can even combine you can put here three two so the more you do, so you can see build up is coming light green here. Uh, you can see um, I think vegetation is blue. You can see, um, yes, bird soil is like a bit, someone mic is not muted. Okay, young Sovio, let me mute you. So you can do a lot of things. The main thing, as I say, is the combination that will discriminate different land cover types for you. If your land cover doesn't deal with mud vegetation, you can read more on band combination. There are a lot of literatures online there will tell you if you are dealing with water body, is it a desertification? There are some bands that will give you the best uh, result. And if we want to stress this to see if we can see more land cover, uh, you can use what we call a local cumulative cut stretch of band. You can choose a particular band and stretch it so that you can see things more visible. That's if you are using particular band. So you can use this tool or local standard deviation. You can see the effect. Okay, now let us go back to our um, 432. See, so if you look at it, SCP doc. This is where we will uh, create our training site. Training site simply means you pick some sample uh, of your land cover that will serve as signature for the classifier. What we are doing is supervised classification where you tell the machine that if you see this pixel, I link it to this land cover type. So the first thing you do, you come to training site. Um, this home, this is training input, this is a uh, uh, training. Uh, input you click this one you can see this one with a small yellow box create new training input you click it you go and choose a file because i have worked on this before i will choose a file and say uh, abuja abuja 2020 training six training simple mean you are picking few pixels, then training it to recognize it as a land cover class. So I click save. Okay, now it has created, you can see up here, it has created a vector called Abuja training seek. So if we look at the attribute table, we will see that it is empty. So we have to populate it now. So the first thing you do, there are many ways to de develop your training site. If you go to this ROI, it means region of interest. There is one that we call NDVI method. NDVI method is a, NDVI is called normalized differential vegetation index. It's used to know the health of vegetation, but I'm not using that. I prefer to 
digitized by myself. So you can use that if you want, or you can use the signature list. So the first thing that you do uh, after you have done this is to come here. This you can see this ROI, R O I, region of interest. So if I have chosen the NDVI, I will use this uh, active ROI pointer. If I click anything, it will look at the land, the pixel that have the same spectral property and select them. But I'm not using that. So my land cover classification scheme, I'm going to start with built up area. I have five, we say, I say built up uh, water body to um, rock tree vegetation for and bare soil, five. So let's start. If you come here, you will choose this uh, polygon here. Then you will zoom to where you want to. You can use the Google app to give you a guide if you want to. So you bring your image, but you can see here is built up. You click, click, you left click, you left click, you pick some point. When you get to the last point, you right click. Then it will close the polygon. Then you will come here. This is micro ID. Uh, so here you write the land cover type built up built up under here too you can still write the same built up this one is good if you want to maybe build up if you want to do land uh, 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 land use so built up which type of built up you say maybe residential area and the rest but i'm just using everything as built up we have less than 10 minutes in case we are logged i'll just use the same link and Log in again, build up. So we will be keeping this. Uh, we will first create the five uh, 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 classes that we have here. So you will click save, save temporary. You will click this bottom here. Take that. It will run. It is creating the. So it has saved. You can see it has appeared here as built up. Second, now I will zoom. My second, this thing will be water body. I'll click this, click this, just pick some. Sometimes you may have different type of water, so it is good to take different type of water. Maybe lake, lake may reflect differently from a flowing river. So uh, most time you have to like uh, uh, choose different type of water river just to make sure that all of them are regarded as water that is if you want everything to be water or if you want to classify them as leg or the rest so here i will increase this micro id by two because i am using another um, land cover i will now name it uh, water i'll come here to it will be two or uh, I will name it as water because they are the first one so they will have the same number i will click save that's created water then the next one that i want to have is vegetation which will be three you can see this one is moving increasing it by one uh, number then i'll just click this one right click it to close it then i will also increase this by one because two is water i'll say vegetation station then i will also change that here too at vegetation and click save so uh this one now let me do the rock the rock, okay. Let me see. Okay, this rock here. Yeah. Rock. Click it. Increase it by one. Rock. Let's 
save it. So I'll just have five classes. Then I'll now look for bare soil. Bare soil, okay. We have quite a lot of them. So the bare soil to some of them could contain a little bit of grass, but because the dominant uh, land cover is bare soil, so it will still allocate the, play, the land cover as bare soil. So you can see some red pixel, which mean grasses. So you can see it is reflecting bright. So it is likely going to get confused with, uh, with a built up area. So I click it, increase it by one, name it bare soil. Then I'll click, okay. I will also um, micro info, click save. Okay, but now, with this class that I have, it's not enough. I need to have more classes for vegetation for build or because even among the builder area, they may have different roof and the rest of them. But we can easily view our our land cover map even now to see how uh, it is before we like increase the land cover. If you check here, you will see a plus sign here after this preview. It's called active classification preview. So if I click it now and I click any, anywhere, you can see anywhere you like this, it can preview it and tell me how the land cover classes are. You can see the first one here is built up here. The more dominant one here is bare soil. The rock, uh, this one, so the rock too is being confused here because as I said earlier that some of the rock have vegetation on top of them. So which, which could be a problem? While the black uh, vegetation, so if I click here to anywhere I click, it will give me a preview of the land cover. So the, the built up is this purple color. So you can see, let me, yeah, you can see the built up here. So this is just for you to have a preview. If I click here too, let me just see. Yeah, there are more rocks, so we need to get more uh, pixel for the uh, build up. So I will just delete this one. So now, what I will connect to do is to get more polygon for the built up area. Right click, I will come here, I will change this built up is one. Is one, you see, when I put one, is put it as built up. So, but here I will leave it as six. I will come and match the classes. I will leave it as built up. This number will keep counting because this is the number of training site. So I will just leave it to keep counting. So I'll say save. I will come here again, draw polygon, built up. Yeah, leave it as one, it is already one, but the CID keep increasing. Let me also, it's good sometimes to like have them spread. Um, spread across the study area. Okay, let me go to the south and have some of them. So, so I'll just leave the, the, the this built up uh, training site. I supposed to even change this one from maybe minimum of 10 to maximum 30. I forgot that. 
So I think I'm done with uh, with the. Um, let me delete this uh, temporary classifier that I have. Delete this one too. Move this layer. Okay, so now I will digitize more of water also. Let me look for the river, different water and digitize one more. Okay, this one, you can see that this color, this, this water body is a bit different from this one. Let's look at the Google ad. Yeah, so you can see, so we need to also have a sample of this one, water body. That is second ID water. Copy this and put it here to us. Water body. Save. Let me see if I can still have another water body down south. Okay. There is small river, but the pixel is not up to 30 meter. It's quite tiny this line is water i'm not sure we can more like stream because the satellite image is 30 meters so the pixel size is quite small um so let me see if i can get a little portion of it let's just give it a try and see just a tiny bit of it because the satellite Okay, so um, we have got uh, a quite number for build of water. So we'll now get more for uh, vegetation. Okay, so let us get more for vegetation. Pick this again, the ties, right click and Increase the number to three, which is vegetation. Copy it and put it since I'm not having different type of vegetation, it's just one vegetation. Click save. Sometime it will save. I'll zoom out, look for another shade of vegetation. This are uh, grassland, so let's get few of them. Right click. Vegetation, click. Save it. Okay. Um, let me see. This place is rock, but it's, it has got vegetation, so it is likely going to be classified as vegetation also because it has vegetation on top. But let me just digitize this one. Save it, vegetation. So this is for training, just for this tutorial. No, you need to like have a lot of them just to make sure that that uh, you have a lot of sample like if i know I, I would also taking sample from this place for the build or what i didn't but that is not a problem it's just for training for you to know how uh, it is done so even if we have a lot of mis uh, classification for this tutorial that is fine let me take this vegetation okay So maybe I'll just leave the number now for vegetation. Let me see if I can still have some, some sample down. Okay, let me just have some sample here. Right click, save it. Then our fourth sample, uh, our fourth uh, class is rock. 
So these are rock. You can see them here. I hope they will not be classified as uh, as built up. Hope so. We increase this by four. That's rock. Copy it and paste it here too. Click save. Zoom out. Get some rock. Also, okay, I have some here. Pick them. Click. Let me see what is this, uh, what is here. This is a bright color. Let's see what is there. Oh. This 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 should be a quarry site. So because they break stone, you can see that it is reflecting very high, but it could go as built up also because a uh, built up simple means any place where the natural uh, 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 land or vegetation or whatever has been tempered with. So let's see if when we classify how it will be, or oh, this is a uh, built up. It is a quarry land. So let me bring back the image. So I'll just leave the. Okay, let me just have a few more rocks and see because of time, so that I will not run out of time. Um, this one. Let me get some of the southern part. Okay, this one looks good, but it is with vegetation. Let's see how it goes. It's likely going to be classified as built up rock and save it. Okay, now let's get bare soil. Get more classes of bare soil. Let's see. If you have any question, please feel free to add. let me switch off the image. Okay. Bare soil. This uh, one may not correspond exactly with the satellite image because the satellite image is for dry season, I think around February. So if the if the Google Earth image is about uh, is due, during the rainy season, so it may not give you the correct thing, but at least you have an idea that there are no buildings there. Let me just. Uh, Okay, this place looks better for this. So, okay. So, this is for Bessa, which is five. So, it takes time to create the training site. Okay, let me have like five more, then we will just do the classification. Not minding even we have a lot of misclassification, but you can give it a try and have more training site for each classes. You have like 20 or 10 per each class so that you can have a good spread. Something that I build up here. Okay. This place is to our best soil. So maybe after this one, I'll just we'll just go to the classification. So you can see that the best soil too is reflecting just like similar to a built up area. So click it. Should I take one more? I'm being tempted to take more. Let me see what is here. Okay, okay. Is best so. Okay, so I think I am okay with this now. As I say, it's for training purpose. So what we will do now is to match this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, training. Uh, 
files that we have extracted. To do that, you press the control key, you will highlight this one, build up, but you have to be careful six, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, There are quite few, number nine. Then you click this one here. Match highlighted spectral signature, obtain the average. So we will obtain the average. So I will click it, say match highlighted signature, say yes. To take time, it will execute it. But you have to be careful not to pick up another one. If not, you will have problem when you do the classification. Okay, it has merged it. You can see it here, built up merge. So the second one we take is water. Control key, click water, click 10, click 11. Yeah, then click merge. To run and then merge it. 20%. Okay. Then the next one is vegetation, right? Number three, control. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. These are vegetation. Click match. Okay, then the next one is uh, rock, rock four, control, rock, 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 match. Run. Then the last one is uh, best soil five. Press control. Rock, rock. Yep. Okay. Skip one seventeen. No, it's best soil, right? Sorry, it's best soil. Best soil not rock vessel 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 click match So we have all of them matched. So what I'll do, I'll just uncheck this one. I don't need them. I've got the average. You can also do some analysis to look at the spectral curve of each of the signature. Because uh, each of the land cover displayed differently, you can use this one to look at the signature, uh, the uh, spectral signature plot, just to have an idea on what it is and do some analysis. Why, why there is a graph not a plotting? Just to add the graph. Let me see. Is it because I got the average? Let me try this one and see. Why are you not plotting? Anyway, let me see. Uh, supposed to plot. Anyway, I don't know what is wrong with you, but let me still preview the way I did the other time so you, you can uh, preview to see how the land cover will be by clicking anywhere. 
on the map. Let's see. Okay. You can see built up here. Okay. The green is vegetation. Mm, is can see here uh, bare soil is being confused here with that quarry that I was talk, talking about. You can see build up all. What I'll do, let, let us change the color. Let's give build up uh, which color red, 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 red. I need a uh, RGB. How does I need RGB? No, no. Okay. Let's give a build up red color. Build up red color. Water body. Let's give it blue. Then vegetation, let's give it green. Then rock, let's give it this one. Then burst soil, what do we give burst soil? Maybe this one, yep. So uh, let me delete this one and see. So you can see our build up are red, our water body. Water is being confused with a class here water blue so because we didn't there are a lot of depending on uh, on uh, as i said that the spectral reflect and so at times it is better to pick as many signatures as possible to reduce the issue of misclassification or maybe i join one of the spectral signature of water but anyway as i said this is for training so if you are doing it for any work you have to pick a lot of land cover type you can see this one is showing stream and is classifying rod as water, which is not so good. I think maybe I didn't, I joined one signature that has to do with water. So this is just for to like preview to see how the classes are. So anywhere that you click, it will bring the classes for you. Build up is shown in red and the rest of them. So we can now apply, but I don't know why water is really coming out here showing um let's see here is built up but why is it showing as water did i pick a part of water and classify as uh, as a build up area maybe likely so it is possible that maybe when one is digitizing if you make a mistake and you choose one one uh one of the land cover and you join it with uh, another, you have problem. But you can see that the vegetation is pretty okay. You can see the, the uh, blue. And also if I click up, come up, come up, come up, come up. Yeah, you can see the vegetation is pretty well. So it's the built up and water that we are having problem. So, but every other one is pretty okay apart from the built up area so which is quite good so most time if you have this problem you go back to your signature you will check did i give wrong id to a particular land cover so you will check so you can see that for the vegetation we are we are doing well you can see here vegetation blue and you can see isn't it and also the mud vast soil you can see that yes we are fairly uh, okay, so one thing that one can do with this one, now you can now say classify to now classify the whole of the image. So I'll just go ahead and classify. So I will not bother about the uh, misclassification since it's just for 
you to know how to do it. But in real distance, when you have such problem, you have to verify that water and build up. Why is it that build up area are shown like water? So maybe there was a mixed pixel of build up area and water. But let me delete all this preview so that I'll have it. So you can choose different type, either minimum distance, maximum likelihood or spectral angle. So let me just choose minimum distance. You can put a threshold. I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, touching anything. You can choose, say, uh, give me classification report. You can read more to know about this. You will, you will click run. You will, it will ask you where you want to save. Let me say Abuja uh, image class, Abuja land cover, land cover. Yeah, 2020, because this is 2020 image. Click OK. You will give it a time it will run. I didn't even check rocks to to see if it's uh, it's uh, classified them well. So this is the land cover map. So the problem we are having mostly is the okay, like the bar soil yes, where we are fairly okay with it. So is the water water body and built of that we have a lot of uh, confusion, but vegetation is is fine. It's fine. And the rock, what is rock? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh, I can see water. Okay, this 10 is like it wasn't removed. You can see this one here. So I think something happened when uh, I was merging them. Rock. Rock too, yeah. You know, I, I told you that we may have problem rock and vegetation because most of the rocks have vegetation on them. So these are some of the challenges that you will face when you are doing land cover classification. When the land cover classes are not homogeneous, but basically this is the way to do land cover classification. Maybe after our GIS tutorial, we can also do the same thing with uh, with uh, ArcGIS and some other software. So these on classifier are places with uh, zero pixels. So, but why is this number ten coming? Where's my? Where's my? Have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This one here. This one here. Uh, I didn't check it. Maybe let me rerun it and see if if uh, it will change. Let me remove this. And see, or what I'll do, let me see if I can remove these ones. Let me just see if, if I can remove, if I remove this one, if there will be improvement. If not, it means that I gave wrong ID to a particular class, which is common most sometimes. So you have to be very, very careful. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Need to delete this one too. So let us classify again and see. Or let me use maximum likelihood. Run classification report. Okay. Two thousand. Let me put A. It's like it has improved a bit, but we still have that. So I think from the initial stage, I mixed up the uh, pixel. The pixel was mixed up, but you can see that the legs are well classified. We don't have the board. Why is it that we have uh, some 
or maybe when I digitize the other smaller stream, you know, it was quite small. So may, maybe I enter into the built up area. I think somewhere here. Uh, let me see from the Google Earth image. Um, let me remove this one that I don't need again. Okay, all this one, let me remove them so that we'll have a more manageable manageable um, view. There are quite many because I was previewing them. So that we'll have uh, let's just see so we'll have a more manageable layer if you okay much build up Okay. Okay. You can see that the build up is fairly good apart from the, this blue, blue water body that's, uh, okay. Maybe when I pick up a sample for that water body, I enter into the build up. You remember I was saying that one of the water body was quite small. So I now, so maybe because I enter into the build up, so it confused some part of the built up with water body even the rod you can see the rods are showing as if they are water body but apart from that everything is fairly okay let us look at the rock the rock too they are being confused with uh okay okay they are fairly okay because we have quite a lot of them here here so most of this place are rock and even those parts who are showing a bit as if they are okay here too, they are rock. So basically, this is how to do land cover classification. Okay, here to our rock. Okay, yeah. The rock to they are fair because most of these places are rock that have a lot of vegetation interwoven in between them. And they have some built up area too. So is there any question? A land cover chain, you can give it a try. So this is land cover map. This is supervised classification. There is another one called unsupervised classification, but most time the supervised classification is more um, accurate. So this is not the end. You can do other, you can do further analysis with this one. Uh, the classes you can also convert it to uh, to a vector to do further analysis. If you go to symbolism too, you can do some things, you can change, you can actually remove this one. You can change this one to just rock. You can also change the color here if you want to. That is not a problem. Just leave it as water or water body, vegetation. So if you click the color now, you can change it. The soil, we have less than 10 minutes. So if you have any question, please. So you see it is more better now, the land cover classes. So if you have any question, please feel free to ask. You can unmute yourself. Hello? Any question? Emeka Ganyu. So please feel free to talk. Ask question, please. Mm.
No question. You can see. See that the vegetation map well the build up is just the water that mix up with the with the with the build up so i i wasn't expecting it because we don't have many water bodies so but that is fine anyway yep bolaro any question So can we call it a deal? Please feel free to ask. By next week, hopefully we should resume back our GIS, uh, um, GIS uh, analysis by God grace. So this is your land cover now. You can take it to GIS, do a lot of things with it, quantify the area. You can also calculate the area of the land cover, but we are not covering that today. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Um, thank you for Um, sir, um, my question is this. There's a time you were actually um, classifying it and there's indication that there's a chain there that there's an unclassified one. I wasn't able to see how you were able to remove it, right? If such a thing occurs, remove what? Any time. Is there a way one can? The all classified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went there and I removed it. Just uh, uh, right click, go to property. If you highlight like here now, and I go, you can see plus and minus here. Can you see? Remove selected row. Okay, sir. Yeah, I cannot remove the selected row. Just highlight it so you remove it. So now, okay. if you just uh, left click here, double click, it will bring this so you can edit the name. Double click, double Wait, click please. here. So even the color, if you click on the color, it will take you to where you can change the this thing color. Is that okay? Yeah, if I double click here now, I can change the color. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, any question? Uh, okay. Are we okay with hello? Yeah, someone is talking. Is someone talking? <laughs>